All right, boys and girls, we are going out in the flow control, Gary's boat, this morning. Going to do some offshore adventure. That's the camera. And this is the lunch. I'll hand these other ones over to you off the side here. Anyway, we're going to go offshore. So far, it looks flat. It's going to be a nice, beautiful day. It's in the 40s, maybe high 40s, low 50s right now. And we are anxious to go. There's another big boat going to put in right now. Okay. All right, boys, girls, we are formally launched. It is 6.50 in the morning. Sun is not up yet. Got the trolling motor lit up. We are ready to go. Probably going to go about 30 miles out. Depends on the waves and the speed. But we plan on coming back with some fish today. The three of us. And I got my cams to drop down. Maybe if it's current's not too strong, weight's not too high, I'll drop these cams down to the bottom. We'll see what we did catch. But we'll get back to you when we get on the way, underway, out there. Beautiful day. Okay, we're out here. We are at reef number three. Somewhere out here in the middle of nowhere. It's the first fish, and guess what? Oh, it's one of those rare and endangered. Red snapper. Rare and endangered. Let me get my little D hooker out of here. There we go. And a little one. Not even a big one. We might go out a little bit further, see if we can get into some natural area. Can I put my cell phone up there if you don't mind? So I don't break the screen. Yeah. I've been known to do that. It's more like it. This is more like it. Of course, it's it is nothing but a red snapper. That's a table-sized red snapper right there. I think I'm going to just go ahead and you know let him go. Stop. Goodbye. I'm going to try yeah, one. I right got one in a pipe. Oh, well, right, yeah. No, you probably broke me off. Okay, let's see what John's got. I think it's red, but Let's we'll see. Woo! Look at there. That's a healthy fish. Let me help him out here a little bit. Look at the size. That's the biggest red snapper so far. The biggest red snapper so far. Got him by the jaw. Wow. You want a picture with him? Nah. Nah. Okay. Come on. Stop flipping around. Yeah. And we'll probably have one, longer one, this year. There you go. Where to go? <laughs> Let's go get some more. Brother John. Let me get this. Yeah. <laughs> I get a front row seat to watch the action. It's a pole bender. And he's a red guy. Nice one though. Golly, they're nice. That's another nice one. Boom, just like that. Thank you, sir. Yep. There's a few. Thank you. Catches the first bee liner, first other than a red snapper. Yeah. Be cool, <laughs> oh, right? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> How come we're catching so many of these? 
on the All American pole. Uh, yeah, it came up all the way off the bottom to get the top sardine. Wow! Come on. Yeah. Especially when they can rip the drag all the way back down the bottom, huh? Yeah, let's go over here. If he wants to go over here, I'll go over here. Got that big old broad red snapper tail. I'll wear him down a little bit if he's wearing me down. I know. I mean, this guy's probably getting close to the culverts too. He's he's moving over here for some reason. Maybe he's something different. Might be something different, but I don't think so. He's straight up and down. Big. Big. I don't think it's Mr. Cobia. I think the water's too cold for him. Been doing exercises at home and this is helping, I can tell you. <laughs> Come on. Here he comes. I got him past the danger zone where he can get back down to the culverts. Whatever he is, I'm pretty sure he did the big old red snapper. Yeah. Big and red. Oh, big. Big and red. That's a 30 incher, 28 incher. Okay. I might have to vent him. Nope. Okay, you got a vent tool? Yep. Alrighty. Whoa. Thank you. Wow. Arr. Settle down there, fella. You vent it right in this area. Listen. You probably can't hear it, but I can hear the air coming out. Hear it? Okay, I'll let him go. Another B liner? Another B -liner? Yep. Oh man. Wow. Double B's. I might have to put the old Sabiki on real soon. We are out here at a natural spot, and both Gary and John have hooked up. Already, my goodness, look at there. Red snapper. Get him off for you. That is just, I think that's a giant school of snapper. Could be, could be. A giant school of snapper. <laughs> I mean, the bottom is covered, covered with fish. Another one? Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is just another Mr. Red Snapper big boy. Cause he came up. Something big. Yeah, and he's going down. This is a. This is a. This is a. <laughs> he's not as big as that other one. Oh. oh. I think a shark just came and got him or oh, something. Because that was an unusual loss.
But if that's a trigger fish, I don't, I don't think it is. Just a red snapper on my sabiki. <laughs> I mean, when you catch this size of red snapper on a sabiki, they need to have a season. Don't break my hook off. Unless I got them butt hooked. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Look at there. Called it. Butt hooked a keeper bee liner. Thank you, Lord, for number two. Be like. He's about 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Good eating there. Coming up to the top. <laughs> Red snapper. That's a good size one there. It's about a 22. He's awful pale. A lot of times out here they're glowing. This guy a little bit pale. Probably because the water's kind of. The, he goes. He gone. Got a whole grunt on here. Got something down there pestering it. Doesn't seem to be big enough to eat it. Could be uh, like trigger fish taking bits off of it or something. See? See there? Look at that. Rawr, 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 rawr. Rawr. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Yeah, that's what that is. It's just trigger fish eating bits of it off. <laughs> I think I got me one. I think this. Yeah, it could be a red snapper. Okay. I think it's just a big red snapper. Maybe. What is that? What do we got? Big red snapper. Yep. Wasn't even a big one. Ain't my grunt. Just an average one. You take that old grunt? He yeah. ain't that old grunt. Oh, that's a nice size. That's table size. Huh? That's, that's table. table, yeah. That double filet right there. Yep. Yeah. Another floater out back. And it's probably 11 o'clock, and these glass of red snapper are still coming to the surface, getting our baits. We're going to be leaving pretty soon, because it's all red snapper, red snapper, and grunts. A few vermilion. Got kind of nice out here. It's about time to go. It's a good size 20-incher. Catch that inside three miles, you can keep that. That right there. Mm -hmm. Quit messing up my line here, fella. If you can catch a 20 inch red snapper within three miles, you can keep it. Since the current's going this way, I want to drop it down on your side. Okay. 
Okay, got two of them on. Okay, as you can see, I only had two of the cams turned on, and actually only one was working. As I'm dropping them down, you can see the water color change, and so I had to adjust uh, the settings uh, in the video program that I'm using to edit, just to make things clear enough so you could see it. And as you can see, um, it is very murky on the bottom, nice and clear on the top but very murky on the bottom and most of these fish that you see here are red snapper uh, there's uh, quite a few vermilion snapper uh, sheep's head for sure lots of sheep's head and these the, that fish right there that just swam by with the uh, white face almost kind of yellowish color that is a pork fish lots and lots of red snapper And with the, the sun had gone behind the clouds and it was cloudy out by the time we dropped this down. Um, and I should have dropped it down earlier in the day, but it was just too rough. And it was still rough, really rough out there when I dropped these cams down. Um, but I just wanted to see what was on the bottom here. Nice big red snapper, beautiful red snapper everywhere. And those are Spanish sardines, live schools of live Spanish, sar Spanish sardines. And this is a sand tiger shark. Big boy, really big boy. And this is not slow motion. This is the actual speed it's going. And there were several on the second pass when, this <coughs> when that fish came by again, that shark came by a second time. There were several mangrove snappers following it. So there's lots of mangroves down there too. Look at those vermilions. Mm -mm -mm. Quite a variety of fish. And I mean, uh, the, the whole video uh, was only probably 28 minutes long. So I only had one clip, 28 minutes long. And then on top of that, uh, the current was kind of strong down there and the cameras the camera base turned over on its side so I only got the first half so I only got about 12 minutes of video that I could edit so I chose the best parts of course yep loved it loved it, it was a rough day started off cold ended up nice and warm we were in our t-shirts <laughs> 